What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be comparing two very competitive pulse rifles in Destiny. In the one corner we have the Clever Dragon Iron Banner Pulse Rifle, and in the other corner we have the Waltz Future War Cult Pulse Rifle. Now the reason we're comparing these two pulse rifles today is that Firstly, both of these pulse rifles fit into the exact same damage archetype for pulse rifles. They are both fast firing, low damaging pulse rifles. So they have the exact same damage and the exact same rate of fire. Additionally, kind of the real reason I'm comparing it today is that I recently got a waltz roll that is nearly identical to the roll I've had and had for a while on my Clever Dragon, which is small bore and counterbalance as the really big factors that influence the features of this gun. Uh, the difference is, is that for the waltz, it has high caliber rounds. I'd say that this does give it a slight edge in terms of like purely how good the rolls are. And then the Clever Dragon has Lightweight. I actually got a new one, the Last Iron Banner, which has Snapshot, which is a little better, but I haven't leveled it up yet. But in any event, that's why we're comparing these two guns. They're the same damage archetype. They spawn in with remarkably similar starting stats, which we're going to go over in a bit. And they have nearly identical rolls. Like, it would be very unfair of me to compare these if the Waltz had Braced Frame and the Clever Dragon had Small Bore. Those are pretty different in altering how the guns act. So we're gonna get a really good idea about how these guns actually compete with each other. So let's get started. And we are going to begin here with the starting stats. These are the base attributes of these weapons with nothing affecting them. Obviously the better the starting stats are means the better the gun overall because you need less specific rolls to make them competitive. And let's start out here with range. The Waltz has a starting range of 28, and the Clever Dragon has a starting range of 31, so a slight advantage to the Clever Dragon. Moving on, the Waltz has a starting stability of 59, and the Clever Dragon has a starting stability of 58, so a slight advantage to the Waltz actually. Other interesting but less important stats include reload speed, the Waltz has 54, the Clever Dragon has 59, aim assist, the Waltz has 75, and the Clever Dragon has 77. So it looks, just by starting stats, that the Waltz is kind of beat out. The Clever Dragon does have the advantage in terms of starting stats in every factor pretty much other than a one point advantage in stability that the Waltz has. And when we actually compare these two weapons, you can see exactly that. Wait, what? I wasn't expecting this result either. According to the starting stats, the Waltz should have better stability, but it doesn't. The Clever Dragon beats the Waltz in range, even though the Waltz has high caliber rounds equipped, so that does give it a tiny boost in range. I actually tested high caliber rounds for a different video. It's honestly like a foot. It gives it like a foot extra range. It's really, really minor, but it does show up in the stats. But the Clever Dragon still beats it in range, which is kind of expected, but most surprisingly, beats it by a decent chunk in stability. And that really caught me off guard because nothing in the actual stats, nothing in the perk rolls really accounts for this except for one thing, which is the sight. Which is to me kind of a crazy result. I mean, all other factors are accounted for. We know the starting stats, they both have small bore, they both have counterbalance, lightweight doesn't give you an increase to stability, neither does high caliber rounds. The only factor that can be gaining the Clever Dragon a, like a really decent chunk of stability is that sight, the iron red dot sight. And you can actually see that increase in stability when we take both of these weapons with no alterations in their loadouts into private match and we just do some wall tests. You can very clearly see 
that the clever dragon just has a little bit less vertical recoil than the waltz. And I tested this and tested this and I was getting the same result every time. The waltz's spray pattern on the wall was just a little bit higher every time to the clever dragon. And that you're really seeing a visualization of what that little extra bonus of stability actually grants in game. Just a little bit less recoil. And you can imagine when you actually use it in game because I tested both of these weapons out in PvP. I actually did notice that it was a little bit harder to kill enemies at medium to long range. Well, medium range not necessarily, but like the tail end of medium range with the waltz. Even with high caliber rounds, which is much better than lightweight, I still preferred the Clever Dragon. I still found it a lot easier to use. And that exactly makes sense with that wall test. The clever dragon is just having a little bit less upwards recoil, easier to land your headshots. You know, if you shoot over top of an enemy and you have the third shot in the burst go over someone's head, that's going to drastically lower your DPS. That's really not going to help you in firefights. And that is just going to happen less when using the Clever Dragon. So that's actually pretty crazy that the Iron Red Dot Sight, remember these sights on the Clever Dragon are not randomized. They are predetermined. You will always get the same three sights on the Clever Dragon. So that means the Waltz is really fighting from behind. As we went over in the stats, let me just kind of put on my developer hat for a second here. As we went over in the stats, these two weapons, their balance doesn't make sense, honestly. The Clever Dragon beats the Waltz statistically in like every single category except for one point in stability. And then it spawns with a sight, the Iron Red Dot sight that gives it a huge chunk in stability. So not only do you have to get a very good roll with the Waltz to compete, but you also are on the back foot because now you have to even get a randomized sight on top of that to compete with the Clever Dragon. Now I will say that the sight I have on my Waltz is actually the Quick Draw IS. So it actually gives me a boost to reload speed, but it doesn't give me that boost to stability. So if I got one of these stability influencing sites like the Steady Hand IS, that would potentially help me out and help me reach a more point of parity with the Clever Dragon. But that's kind of the point. Again, I now have to go and get a random site. I have to get the right site. And we're just talking about statistics here. We're not talking about how visually the site looks. Like, you might not like the Steady Hand IS. You might think it's a completely cluttered, crappy site that makes you perform worse. And that is a huge disadvantage for sure. But the important part is that even if you do get a stability influencing site with the Waltz, you are really just going to catch up to where the Clever Dragon is with potentially like, again, one point of stability in your favor and the Clever Dragon has more than one point in favor in terms of range. So overall, I guess, you know, comparison over. The Clever Dragon is statistically and mathematically going to be the best option if you can get those similar roles. Now I do have to stress if you can get the similar roles. If you get a waltz with the god rule, which is instead of small bore, you have braced frame. Braced frame reduces the magazine size, but just purely increases stability by a much bigger margin. You know, I would love braced frame, but I'm really, really good at getting completely mediocre rolls on my guns, so I'm gonna stick with my small bore for now. But if you can get the waltz with the god roll, which would be, in my opinion, braced frame, high cal rounds, counterbalance and you know a stability affecting sight hopefully that's going to be better than a mediocre roll on the clever dragon however from what we've seen in this video really delving into the nitty-gritty of the absolute end game comparing what these weapons are absolutely capable of in a mathematical sense it seems like the best weapon overall definitively is the clever dragon if you got the absolute god roll of both of these weapons, you may have a one point stability advantage with the waltz, but you're going to be missing out on extra range and aim assist and reload, and that is just not going to be worth it.
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this really in-depth look at the Destiny weapon system and really, hopefully, kind of once and for all answering the question, you know, which gun is better, the Clever Dragon or the Waltz? I've heard a lot of people ask that, I've wondered that myself, and, you know, hopefully today we've answered that pretty definitively. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful and informative, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.